Singapore's copyright laws support a flourishing collective management ecosystem, enabling creators and users to thrive with effective licensing practices. Administered by the Intellectual Property Office of Singapore, collective management organizations must comply with a set of class license conditions that foster transparency, accountability, and good governance, giving CMOs flexibility in their operations. Enforced since May 2024, the class licensing scheme improves collective management in five key areas, members' rights, distribution of royalties, dispute resolution, governance and record keeping, and information for the public. We have witnessed IPO's robust process for developing and adopting the regulations, including a wide and transparent public consultation of a broad range of stakeholders. IPO's considered the WIPO CMO Toolkit, examples from other jurisdictions and international good practices and conducted a transparent and well-organized consultation process. The regime now makes everything a lot clearer and easier to find out information. The biggest benefit that music users will get is probably knowing what they are paying for and who they are paying for. I think it sets a baseline for CMOs to understand what is expected in terms of uh, good operations, good governance, transparency requirements, and it forms a good starting point for seeing how we can improve the system and yet retain enough flexibility for the market forces to continue to operate. The light touch concept is something we have not quite seen being uh, implemented in ASEAN and I think it would serve as a good reference point for the other countries in this region. Uh, whereas if you look at the regulatory practices in some other countries, it's always very general, very broad based and you have to comply with all of these you know, provisions and requirements. So here it's much more targeted, light touch, you know, only what is required and I think there's a beauty where this is a regulation. Allowing the CMO to set the tariffs is actually an important feature of this system because it allows market forces to operate properly. We've seen in other countries or jurisdictions where government has attempted to do tariff setting is that you distort the market and you are not able to allow the rights holders to actually obtain fair value for the use of their music. The new regulatory regime putting in place you know, choice, accountability and transparency obviously is going to stand the whole collecting society system in Singapore in very good state. It will position Singapore, I think, as a place where people can come to do business and know whether they are on the licensing side or on the being licensed side, that their rights are properly managed collectively. Singapore led its CMO regulation review with great professionalism, which can inspire and inform other countries. Find out more about the Collective Management Organization's regulations.